Well, panic buying has been on the rise amid the global spread of the new coronavirus with consumers around the world stockpiling goods like hand sanitizer, canned foods and toilet paper, including one man in Hickson. It's a story that is dominating national headlines after the New York Times wrote about Matt Colvin stockpiling goods amid the coronavirus outbreak. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland talked to Matt, who bought nearly 18,000 bottles of hand sanitizer, while many are still searching to find even one. For Matt Colvin, a pandemic meant an opportunity. For Matt Colvin, a pandemic meant an opportunity. It, it went to zero to 60 really fast. After the first COVID-19 death in the United States, Colvin went state to state clearing out sanitizer shelves. He now sits with 18,000 unused bottles in his home and storage unit, while people in the Tennessee Valley struggle to find one. The bulk of it was purchased with just driving around to uh, retail stores in the Chattanooga area. Colvin bought the sanitizer with the intention of selling them for profit on Amazon before they took his listings down. Now, feeling the same panic as many others. Oh crap is the uh, P PG way to say it. Though he would not discuss on camera the exact prices he sold the sanitizer for, he told the New York Times in a recent interview that some items were listed at $70 a bottle. Um, the pricing on Amazon was higher than it was definitely higher than retail. Stating in a shirt that says family man, family business. He says he never anticipated the struggle other families would go through because of a shortage. Would you say you're sorry? Sorry for purchasing. Sorry for buying all of this. No, I don't think that I would. After receiving backlash online, Colvin says he's making plans to donate the rest of the sanitizer. With with business, there's wins and there's losses, um, and this is one a situation where cutting my uh, cutting my losses is the right thing to do. Well, Tennessee price gouging laws make it unlawful for individuals to charge unreasonable prices for essential goods. It's not clear if hand sanitizer is considered one of those items.